at the Pete and Joe number three mine in Bear Gulch. Well, Paul, it looks a hell of a lot better than it did when we started. A brand new portal set brings the Dale brothers one step closer to Oli's gold. I'm right under the, the place where I wouldn't have walked before. With this in, I feel all right. But the work has just begun. To go any further, they have to walk through the original portal set. And this hundred year old relic is barely standing under the weight of 70 feet of solid earth. So I think what we can do safely is actually set a stall under each of these spreaders. And uh, I think it'll be secure. Kit and Paul use a leftover lodge pole and some scrap wood to rig a support post called a stall under the unstable cat beam at the mouth of the old portal. Feels all right. I wish it was the same all the way in here, but that's another jaw. But I don't really like that. So we need more timber. Yeah. They need three more stalls to shore up the old portal. Down on his property at the foot of Bear Gulch, oldest brother Rick has the right tool for the job. Hope you had your Wheaties. Ready? Go! Go! Dry logs are a lot lighter. I know. <laughs> We've got a sawmill. We feel really fortunate we can work the tasks that are needed from one end to the other of this project. Okay, let's whack this up. The first thing is to get one side flat, then we roll it over, and then you work on the dimensions. Does that look like a good cut? Good enough for mine timber. All right. Okay, they look good to me. I'm not building the house. Up at the B&H, Paul checks on Marty's progress closing up the side at it to keep trespassers away from unexploded rounds. How's that look, Paul? I think we can call this done. Good. The dynamite is sealed off, but so is the reservoir of water John was counting on to melt the ice in the BNH. Now they'll have to find another way to clear the tunnel. And Tad has a plan. Got the old water truck going up the road. And I need to get it up there, help cut that ice down in that B&H tunnel. This will help. Tad is betting that his 500-gallon water tank and a high-pressure hose can cut the ice down to size. The only drawback is that the nearest water source is at the base of the gulch. 600 vertical feet below the BNH. Okay. Let me stick that in the bucket. So that's ready to go. Oh, yeah. We got pressure now. Unlimited supply of water in that creek. That's great. At the Pete and Joe number three. Paul and Marty add an extra layer of protection to the new portal. We've got a, a really good solid portal set. Next, we'll just have to put some plastic covering on it to keep the moisture off it and then backfill. That good, Paul? I'm good over here. Let me get some nails in it. At 8,200 feet up, this stretch of the Tobacco Root Mountains averages 180 days of snowfall a year. This plastic tarp will help keep the lagging dry in the extreme climate. That'll help a bunch, huh? That'll be good. I'm sweating already. Next, they'll bury it under a blanket of topsoil to seal it to the mountain and shield it from blizzards. What do you 
you think, boss? I think it looks pretty damn nice, Marty. So that's secure. That's going to be there for a long time. And we don't need to worry about it. Solid as can be. What else do you want to do? I think it's time for lunch. Huh? I think it's time for lunch. While Paul and Marty take a well-earned break. Uh-oh. We can't even eat on the job. We get caught. <laughs> Rick and John finish the final stall they need to rehab the old portal at the Pete and Joe number three. Okay. They look good to me. They'll support the little weight that's gonna be on the portal. Yeah. I think we should take these up and see if we can give Kit a hand up there. Okay. Rick and John catch up with Kit and head to the B&H to help Tad as he puts his water tank to the test. If his technique can efficiently melt the ice in this 2,500 foot tunnel, they'll have access to mine the feeder system at the heart of the mountain, worth an estimated 50 to $100 million. Hey, how you guys doing? Well, we'll let you judge for yourself. But you haven't been up here for a few days. What do you think you got in advance with all this stuff? With done? everything, six, seven feet. Well, I got that tank full of water. I can squirt 50 feet. Wait a minute. You're not equipped here. There. Yeah, I might need that. Good luck. OK, fire in the hole. What kid doesn't like to play with water? Looks like it's cutting it. Pull that bottom out. I think the tank's about empty. I'm losing my spray. Yeah, the pump just revved yeah. up. Eight back in there about five feet, but it takes a long time to cut a channel with that fire hose. That's a lot of fuel. Yeah. At a rate of one foot of ice for every hundred gallons of water, Tad's technique is a bust. They'll have to go back to the drawing board to clear out this massive ice structure. I'll tell you what, guys. I think you could call that a successful test for fire control and an unsuccessful test for ice cutting. <laughs> Kind of like Edison and the light bulbs, huh? Found out all the ways it didn't work. Coming up, a better look into the number three. Spells disaster for the Dales. Jesus, I don't want to touch any of this. No. We're caved. 